hosts with the most Jennifer as always. So I just did my uh, DVD pack unboxing for the horror pack of April 2019. Real quick, since I did it in the first video, we're going to go ahead and do a, uh, another shot. Uh, so if you guys missed my uh, DVD pack unboxing, um, I'm actually toasting uh, a celebratory shot for the fact that my ETL, as we call him, uh, basically a manager, uh, Nicole, 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 Nicole is actually, uh, her, her last day was today. Uh, I mean, I say celebratory, we've had our differences, but at the end of the day, honestly, tell you the truth, she ain't so bad, um, but honestly, in all of her future endeavors, cheers and whatever, whatevs, whatevs. Nicole, if you do actually watch this, honestly, good luck to you. Alrighty. Alrighty. So, on to the Blu-rays. So, Blu-rays are going to run you, start you at $24.99 a month. Uh, obviously, you can do one month, three month, six month, and 12 months. The more increments you do and pay up front at a time, the more money you save. As always, I know I'm sounding like a broken record at this point, but best option in either pack is the 12 year or the 12 year the 12 month uh subscription and not only do you get a free gift but between either pack whichever you do or both you save like 27 bucks off the off the whole year so it's like you get not only a free month but in a sense an extra three bucks off like a pack so i'm just saying i'm just saying that it's the best value i just can't do 12 months because i can't afford it but whatever whatever anyway so first one up what do we have ah oh, cabin fe fever honestly i mean I, i'm not even complaining about this because i've not seen patient zero and honestly tell the truth it's been forever since i've seen the first uh, cabin fever. And I wasn't like the biggest fan of it, but I need to really check it out. I, I feel like a lot of it was just my kind of like reservations of it was just like, uh, you know, sometimes, you know, you get a little bit older, you mature a little bit, you find certain things in some movies. So, but I'm very excited for this one. I mean, I'm not expecting much of it, but whatever, whatever. Next one up. What do we have? Rotten, Rotten Tail, Hippity Hoppity Homicide, Horror Pack Limited Edition. Okay, so this was, I know this was kind of the uh, clue that a lot of people were guessing that might have been the um, Horror Pack Limited Edition. And as you can see, obviously, number 34. Because, uh, I mean, there's, I know there's a few different, like, bunny Easter related um, horror movies out there. But no, this is pretty awesome. Awesome, awesome. You know, I like that Horror Pack has been doing this, uh, you know, where there's a month, if there's like a holiday in a month, they'll try to find a movie that is semi-related to that holiday. Like, I know last year they did 420 Massacre, which was, cracked us all up. Like, even if you don't smoke, I think, I think most people found that pretty funny, so. But yeah, that's awesome. Actually, you know, let me see real quick what this is about. Sorry, you guys. So I'm like, I'm literally trying, I don't mean to like rush this, but I'm trying to like get this done before Monday Night Raw. And also I have to take a shower and I've got like eight minutes till Raw starts. So whatever, I guess uh, either I'm going in stinky to work tomorrow or I'm missing a few minutes of Raw. I'm not going to die from it, whatever. Anyway, Rotten Tail tells the bizarre tale of young Peter Cotton who grew up in a town of Easter Falls, of course Easter Falls, and loves rabbits. Peter's science project on rabbit breeding is ruined when the school bullies beat up his rabbit. Why would you beat up a rabbit? Are you, horror pack, are you gonna F me up again this month like Mexico Barbaro? Why? Why all the hate and rage against animals? Damn, like, I'm much more of a dog person, but dang, if I see a cat or a rabbit get, like, fucked up, I'm pissed, man. I think we need to, you know what, Chris, Chris, 
all ride horror pants. We need to do a movie where I get all like crazy and fed up with everyone killing freaking animals in movies and I just break. Think about it, dude. You don't even have to cast me, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Give me like 5% of the royalties on that shit, man. Stop. Sorry. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, school police beat up the rabbit. Years later, the kind but still shy Dr. Cotton works steadily and gently with the rabbits to cure human infertility. Unbeknownst to Peter, the military is this work. The military is this work developing fierce soldiers with strength far exceeding a human of their size. And with Peter's fertility serum, the ability to breed the field, Peter discovers that the true nature of the experiment and attempts to stop it, but in an accidental, in an accident of poetic justice, a bite from the experimental mutant rabbit combines with Peter's own serum to transform him into the evil rotten tail. Okay, so this kind of sounds like a little bit of like it's been inspired by uh, a few different things, uh, like Toxic Avenger. Um, oh man, um, there was another movie that I had in my mind as I was reading this, and I can't think of it. I don't know. I don't know. But I don't know. It's probably not going to be right up my alley, but. You never know. I'll check it out. I'll check it out, you know. You know, I know, I once again, like, I know a lot of people, like, I know, like, Tony has five, has nine fingers, really kind of gets horror pack for the limited editions and stuff. And then there's people like myself in Sarah 1228 that are kind of like, usually aren't the biggest fans of the limited editions, but we respect the fact that they send these movies out. So, whatever. It's always kind of like, iffy with us on those but whatever whatever next one up another slip cover this might be our scream factory because i think we're getting another scream factory don't knock twice okay so a few people were guessing don't knock twice for this um i did watch this back in my uh october binge i was kind of bored with it but at the same time kind of wanted to recheck it out just to like you know, see, whatever, whatever. I mean, I know this one does get quite a bit of hate, but whatever. For those of you who do like this movie, rock on, man. Rock on. I mean, honestly, I think it's worth checking out. So, I'm just saying, last but not least, Way of the Wicked. All right, all right. Uh, once again, too, because I didn't mention it, uh, thank you, Steven, for doing the clues this month. I know I mentioned that in the... Uh, Hang on, slow down, Jetta. I literally only did two shots and it's already, like, hitting me. I haven't eaten yet, so. Anyway. Anyway. It's, like, warm. God damn. So, anyway. Anyway. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've, I've never, I've never heard of this. Okay, Vinny Jones, Emily Tennant, Jake Croker, and Christian Slater. All right. I mean, sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good. Or looks pretty good, I should say. Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, tell me the truth, both, uh, both packs this month. Um, although Blu-rays, I would say, are looking a little bit more exciting. But, once again, it just, like, the uh, movies in either pack aren't necessarily ones that I would necessarily gravitate towards. But, once again, this is why I love horror pack, because it makes me watch these movies. Anyway, let's go real quick what we have in the Blu-rays. We have Cabin Fever, Patient Zero. We have our Horror Pack, Limited Edition, number 34, Rotten Tail. Hippity hippity hops to homicide. Next one up, we have Zonag Twice. And this is the Scream Factory. Okay, okay, okay. And last but not least, we have Way of the Wicked. Mm -hmm. All right, so there is your Blu-rays for the month. Once again, Steven, thank you so much for taking over the Blu-rays this month. Um, we will let you know who is doing the clues next month. Till next time, as always, stay creepy, classy, and a little bit sassy.